So today we're going to talk about saphenous nerve entrapment. Saphenous nerve entrapment. A saphenous nerve is a sensory nerve uh, along the anterior, which is the front part of the ankle. As we look around his, uh, his area in front of the ankle is fairly swollen in comparison to the other side. Uh, which is divided as we can clearly see and the veins are very engorged on the other side his feet were dangled now for the past 10 to 15 minutes and his veins start to engorge so that is of extreme significance when it comes to the saphenous nerve because it abuds uh, the greater saphenous vein, which is harvested for the cardiac surgery for heart bypass and lower extremity revascularization so there is a vein, which is a big, big vein that travels up the leg all the way to the groin. And that travels with that nerve, the sensory nerve, which is called the saphenous nerve. Sometimes that engorgement can push on the nerve. Other issues could be arthritis, bone spurs, tendinitis, ganglion cysts, anything that space occupy that area can entrap it. So as we look at this foot, which does not hurt or ankle, in comparison to how swollen it is on this side. There is no trauma. However, the patient is very uh, athletic and does involve in sports. So as we can clearly see, there is swelling in comparison to the other side. So this is very interesting. Usually, typically an MRI would be ideal to make sure the source of the space occupying lesion is remedied. But please understand that there are numerous structures in the area that can irritate the nerve and, uh, and that needs to be addressed. It is a sensory nerve. It is not a mixed or a motor nerve. So in my previous videos, we talked about the posterior, posterior tarsal tunnel and the anterior tarsal tunnel. Anterior tarsal tunnel involves the superficial perineals. And then there is a sural nerve, which is behind the bone that supplies the side of the heel. And typically by touching behind uh, the ankle and the side uh, along the heel and up in the leg region in the back part of the calf, it irritates that sural nerve, which is a different sensory nerve as well. In this situation, we're talking about a saphenous S-A-P-H-E-N-O-U-S, saphenous uh, nerve, and it's entrapped, it's, uh, it's numb, it has a d distinctive pain, and that radiates. Uh, there are issues that you got to check as well, clinical, such as Velu and Tinel's. Those are very interesting things as well, and mechanical changes in rotation to the foot type, and tractioning the nerve as well. Uh, there is lastly a nerve compression, which you press on the nerve to see if it, uh, if it radiates and creates the symptoms as well. So this was about saphenous uh, nerve entrapment that is unrelated to the anterior tarsal or the posterior tarsal as my previous videos. Please, I would like to mention that so you understand because that was not mentioned in the previous video. Thank you.